Whoops. Hello, hello. Welcome to my desk. <clears throat> oh gosh, I'm all wonky and everything. If we go like this, I think it's <laughs> still super wonky. Let me see if I can just straighten it up. Is this better? I think so. Well, it's never going to be perfect. So annoying. Maybe up here. Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> but then you can see my keyboard. <coughs> I'm sorry. So much pollen in the in the air. But I'm not the one who's suffering the most. How he is. He's got like uh, some uh, grass allergy, allergy or something. So we actually decided to mow the lawn. <laughs> Because I kind of felt pity for him because soon all the grass are going to drop their seeds. So we were just thinking, you know what, just mow it. So it's mowed. And I actually think it's a good idea because now the drought is coming in, making the lawn dry and brown and everything. So nothing is going to grow anyway. So it was time. Hi, Anne. Welcome to my desk. It's Friday, Friday. Finally, Friday, FF. <laughs> I received the, it was a giveaway that I won at Dee Dee Willingham. And it was a Daphne's diary that she cut and sliced up into these tiny magazines. And I have never worked in a tiny magazine uh, like this. I think I know what I want to end up with. And it's going to be like collage. And um, she also sent me these stripes of, I think it's an art magazine called Art Journaling that she was uh, cutting up. And then she ended up with these uh, loose piece of paper. And I'm really grateful that she chose to send them to me because it gives me tons of inspiration. Like, uh, I think this is the sort of style that I would like to end up with in this uh, magazine journaling. So just looking at images like this is just uh, super, super inspiring. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> Hi, Rhonda. Welcome, welcome. Okay, but I wanted to collect some things. First, I flipped through this, and then I totally had to crack the spine of it. So it's me who has been doing this, uh, you know, like bending it backwards. So it at least would lie flat when I work on it. And then when I flipped through it, I realized that some of the pictures are like spot on like this look. <laughs> it's just like it was meant to be in that size. There also are some potatoes here. So even though this is a, a corner slice of a full magazine, I still have some images that are, yeah, strangely enough, just placed uh, super cute on this page look at that image right there <laughs> so <clears throat> i think i will cover up most of the text and then try and see where it brings me but yeah i'm just flipping through look at that page that is so cute but of course like pages like this i think i should cover up with with paper washi collage I dug out my, um, what is it called, sticker book, this one, because maybe I could, when I'm finished uh, with the page, I could find some sort of sticker to put on top of it. Who knows? <laughs> we'll just see. But like I said, I uh, am really happy for for winning this giveaway, it's going to push me and challenge me to see what I can get out of uh, such a tiny journal like this. <laughs> so I uh, collected some stuff. Let's look in my box. Okay, this could be fun, right? And then all these crazy cards. Remember we did, or some of us, maybe not all of us, but some of us made the project live back in, oof, was it 20... <laughs> 10 or something like way way back and then uh, i ended up with all these cards that fits the project life um plastic uh, folder you know where you slide in your cards and your pictures and stuff and i think cut up some of these might be nice uh, i also got these journaling 
spots here um, because I think maybe I could preserve some pages with a journal spot. So I actually could go back and use that tiny magazine journal for something, something. You never know. You never know. Because one book July is coming up. And for people who are doing planning in the planner community, um, it's a challenge where you gather everything in one book. And I've been doing the one book July years before. Uh, but I think this time I might be able to utilize that tiny magazine journal to maybe write a little bit every day in July about something that I either I'm grateful for or yeah it's just because lately I've been uh, revisiting my old diaries and journals and then I realized what a treasure it is to have small things <laughs> you know that you forget to look back on so I, I think I want to take up a very lightweight sort of journaling once more. This is from Devon. I think it's super cute and it's got some die cuts inside that I think are like perfect size for this uh, tiny journal. Also the envelope itself, right? Can you just see it with the right placement on the page? It would be cute. Cute. This is also from Devon. Once again, envelopes to glue in and die cuts and an ATC card. So, yeah, I think I maybe, yeah, it's just a random box of stuff. This is new. This is from the Happy Mail I received from Amber, but there are a lot of cool things in here. And by the way, also some of her washi. So uh, that reminded me about my own homemade washi. And I found the sad pieces that was left over from that which is these pieces down here this is my attempt of making my own washi i know it doesn't look like much when i'm just holding it like this but it actually looks super cool when it's glued down and cut out you know so um yeah i did some stripes of it right here I really like it <laughs> and it's so easy to make these so look at that one it is so beautiful yeah okay and then um, this is an envelope from Kathy Arbor with some real plants from her garden and I think maybe one of these leaves could be I don't know why I'm hoarding this <laughs> I just really don't like to use it but hey, she sent me them to use them, right? So I think it's a gingo biloba leaf, but it's so perfect and fragile. Oh man, just so, so beautiful. And then what's around it is uh, from her smoke bush. I think, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, the bicycle is perfect. Yes, it's placed perfect. Some of these images are just spot on. Like they totally belongs there, you know. Like you, it's not even cut or anything. Yeah, there's a lot of goodies down here. Here we got some. Uh, I once had these collected in rings up here. I don't know if you can tell. And it was like a mini notepad that was just lying in my kitchen. Because sometimes when I am cooking, <laughs> there is a alterations to the recipes that I'm cooking in my cookbook so I just need something quick to write on so it was like hanging in the kitchen but I think it got a little bit bent or it's because uh, the fumes you know from the stove I don't know what but it starts like bending a little bit so I thought okay I'm just gonna take it down and then see if I can use it and this is from Laurie and it's uh really colorful it's art by my lean die cuts oh, don't you just love it it's almost uh it almost calls for something bigger than this tiny magazine journal but size wise like this one could be nice but like it would be a shame to cut her down for instance i wouldn't do that can you see that that would be such a shame 
So, so maybe I'll just hang on to these, you know, not use all of them today. <laughs> so, and then I put in Barb Owen's face stamps in here because I want to play with them, stamp them out on a messy background and see if I with white gouache can carve out a face on one of the pages that we hopefully are going to make. And then I collected more of these tiny just squares. I think it's from Project Life paper. Uh, yeah, it just goes way back. It's so old, you know. I have to use it. Look, there's a bike. Oh, I could actually, okay, let's put this one on top because I can use that for the bicycle page. <laughs> and then uh, this is just random die cuts, cutouts from um, magazines. Oh, I don't even know from where. This looks like Daphne's diary though. Yeah, but they, they would be cool, like a bent over, like a, if I just bend it over in half. Like imagine if there were like some sort of a tab to a page and then you could just staple it on and then you had this bent over. Or maybe it should be from the bottom since it says to and from here or I could turn it around. I don't know. Just thinking, thinking out loud. Um, but I think that I would start by showing how I make this washi. Because it's so super simple. And uh, it's a very likable go-to extra glue thing when you are embellishing stuff. Plus it's homemade, you know, so it's fun. So... What I do is that I take Avery sticker paper. I don't know if the camera shows, but this is actually Avery sticker paper where there are these squares right up here and then there's four of them. So it's easy for me to tear it apart. I just go down the center here. And now I got half of each. And then I mount them, mount them on something sturdy because it's going to curl up or sometimes, not every time, but I find that it's curling up when it becomes wet. So I basically just want to stick it down. Oh, it's going it's already like this. And the good thing about this is that it's a sticker, right? So when you cut it out in stripes afterwards, it becomes like a washi tape because you can peel off the, the back and make it stick to stuff. <laughs> it's just so geniusly. <laughs> I really like it a lot because sometimes it's a mess if you have to glue down a stripe with a glue stick, you know, there is a lot of excess glue on the side. Or, yeah, so let me clean the table a little bit. What I like to do is to use watercolor when I make my homemade washi tape. And there are some color combinations that I favor more than others. And it is like going from blue into purple and then with a hint of pink in between and then just keep that as one sheet and then on the other sheet I can work with colors like green orange and yellow so I think I'll do that uh, on on these two sheets right here oh people coming in hi Tori <laughs> hi mini hubby Kelly hi Kathy Welcome, welcome, everyone. Uh, let's see. They had Project Live one time at your Dollar Tree. Oh, I really was a sucker for that Project Live. I really thought it was so cleverly done. I've been making um, scrapbook pages for a long time myself. And then suddenly comes these easy-to-do page uh, method. 
where you could uh, work with your pictures in a non-chronologic way because you can switch them around, you know? So, yeah, I think I recall one of the no most annoying thing was that I was working in a chronologic order with my project life. And <laughs> it just stinks sometimes, you know, because if you had a fun trip, you really want to go to that section and start... Uh, you know, doing some fun things about that trip, but you have to work your way through Christmas first or something like that, you know? <laughs> so uh, I think that's why I kind of stopped doing the project life because I was just too anal with my approach to it. Plus, I don't think that anyone in my household treasured it, like uh, found it funny to go and look back at the the page spreads, then it becomes a little bit like, hmm. <laughs> okay, what I'm doing here, I work in stripes, uh, not because that's how you have to do it, but that's just how I like to do it. And I think when I cut it out, that I will cut it following the stripes, so I get like like long uh, strips that uh, got like one color all the way through the stripe because I sometimes I just think it's easier to assemble uh, if you go by color <laughs> it's easier to do it like that okay let's get some of this light in here but for starters, I just let the colors bleed into each other. And then I start just splattering on them. But I think I just want to get it wet first like this. And then I have a mister somewhere. Like this one. And uh, let's say that you want them to run more into each other. You can just slant it down and start misting. And then you can just play with it, making it run back and forth. And now I need to run off the water of it. And then I just take it up like this and just let it uh, run down the water. I'm just going to... Take a paper towel and hold it. Come on, double chin. Finally, I get to use my double chin for something. <laughs> oh, it came in handy, believe it or not. I'm just soaking up the excess water down on the edge here. But then look, you didn't even have to be good at blending them in a white in a wet wash it just uh, does it by its own and then I like to um, do splatters in gold and I'm using the Kur Taki Gansai Tambe watercolors and their fishy gold down here is made out of something it's like really strange I think it's the binder that's different from other watercolors but it just blends and feathers out so beautifully when it's dry. And I, I really like that uh, subtle effect that it gives. Plus, it doesn't look like it right now, but when it dries up, it will um, retain that kind of shimmery look it has. So it's adding a bit of shimmer shimmer at the same time. Who can say no to that? Also white. White paint is uh, not going to stay in dots, but just going to spread out in a haze. And I think that's very likable. And then, of course, if you think so, but uh, I sometimes don't. But black dots are cute, but um, sometimes I don't because I tend to, like, overdo it. So maybe I should stop right there. Stop. <laughs> And then I put this aside to dry 
and then that's when the paper starts to curl up so it's good to have the tape right so i'm just going to put it down the uh, somewhere else over here and then we can work on the yellow and the green one let's see hi janet let's see hi bob Owen. <laughs> Uh, did I miss? Did I miss? Janet will be passing through your area on the way to Stillwater. Okay, later today. No, you. Oh, okay. Bob Owen is going to pass through. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> Are you on a bike ride, Barb? <laughs> you never know with Barb, you know. <laughs> on a road trip. But okay, this uh, washi tape paper is uh, really quick to make and you can do it like we have seen on so many channels. You can use like magicals and oh, all sorts of uh, water soluble, like new color two sticks that you even splatter with and do a lot of scribbles with. So there's a, a lot of fun variations to these stripes here. But the best part, I think, in my opinion, is when it's dry and you come on top of it with stamps. That's when it's it's like the images from the stamps really collect all the background into something beautiful. So I always think that a homemade washi, if it's possible, should be finished off with some stamped uh, text or small in images like watches or steampunk style or something okay this is like totally green yellow green now i'm just curious i want to see what happens if i bring in some some red red stuff here i need to be a little bit careful because green and red will produce mud so i'm just gonna put it just a little bit sparingly here. And then to get rid of that stripey man-made look, it's just missed it. And this time I'm gonna hold it like this, you know, going against the stripes. I think I managed to uh, mist off most of the pigment on this one. <laughs> so now it's uh, it's very sheer. We never know. Maybe that's uh, pretty in itself. So let me just work with that sheer expression by using this uh, white with some sort of glimmer in it. I'm going to scoop up a lot of pigments. Some of my glitter pants, they take a little while to be wet. So I always work them up like, like a mad person. Now it's like a milk creamy consistent. So I'll go for it. That mica really push the, the pigment. Hey, Lars. <laughs> You know what, guys? I really like that sheer look of it, like very uh, pale. Um, I'm not going to do anything more to this because I'm curious how it's going to dry up. The camera doesn't really pick it up, but it's like very sheer and um, likable. So I think that I'm just going to let it dry up and then see what it turns out to when it's dry. Okay, they are aside. That was the washi. Okay, this happy mail. Oh my God, where did the book go? Oh, here it is. 
Okay, this heavy mail is making me a little bit anxious because <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, I don't really know where to start, how to start. I think I should just start cutting out, for instance, these images that I would like to keep. And then maybe just be brave and start gluing them in. How about that? So I'm just going to get this paper from work. Bob, are you hula hooping? <laughs> Oh my god, I remember. I almost forgot that you were a hula hooping bar. <laughs> mm. Oh yes, and it looks like, like sheer snow through curtains. Mm. Let's see. You tried but failed. <laughs> I can't believe even that you bought a hula hoop. I think you're so brave. Okay, I'm just going to glue this down. I like that snippet up there that got a little bit. Okay, so how many of you guys have watched DD do this a thousand times but never really tried it on your own? I'm one of them. <laughs> I've watched her, watched her do this a lot. But now when it's like my turn, it's like... <sighs> what next <laughs> you know like it's a little bit uh not intimidating but i think it's because there's like no rules at all so suddenly it becomes difficult because there are no guidelines uh, i like that purple going on here and kind of this like all that red stuff here so maybe I could cover up some of that red stuff so I can just keep it like purple purplish Yeah, that would be cool. And then maybe there's a, I just want to break up that the, it's very in your face red, you know, in contrast to this page over here. Oh, maybe that's the secret behind it. Like you have to make a harmonious page spread, you know, just with colors. Like, can you see like here you could use a, uh, a different set of colors you could go into that sage do we have sage also some gray tones okay I got okay let's just audition something on this one here Without making it into... Oh, there's sage. We've got sage right there. Okay, away with that. Lena, I'm not streaming today, so take your time and enjoy the process. Oh, okay, Barb, I will. And now <laughs> I have uh, chained people to the seat for the rest of the day. <laughs> Now I can really be slow. Okay, that one looks kind of cool right there, I think. Uh, we also got a sage dot right here. Okay, I think I understand how I will approach this. I would totally look for color. Why am I so against that red? I think it's just so in your face. 
like look how the dynamic of the whole page is changed if you just cover up that red right there. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> hmm. That's kind of fun. Red used to be my favorite color, but in this style right here, I think it's a little bit in your face. Oh, look, text. That's cute text. We have to use that. Maybe here. Yeah. Um, Lena, check your IG message when you finish here, please. Okay, I will. On back and hi. <laughs> I really like your haul. You get a lot of things going on at the moment, especially with the knitting. Uh, crocheting, it's called, by the way. <laughs> I love that the uh, cat basket that you're working on. Look, we got like pink here and pink there. How can you say no to that? So this house right here is ready for a tag. Can you see that? Like put it on a tag and then it's almost done. Only bad thing about doing it this way is that you get to see the what's on the other uh, side of the page when you have to glue it, and then you might regret, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, like, oh, I should have picked the, the image on the back of it instead. Okay, I'm just gonna put some of the blue up here. I'm going to arms this size of Acelia by the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to go and have arms of Acelia. It looks so crazy to do crocheting with that giant needle that you got in uh, your heavy mail. I've never seen a hooking needle that big. Did you see what just happened? My magazine journal divorced itself. Now I have two. It's a gift that gifts and keeps on giving. Oh my god. It just it just fell apart. Okay, we have to do some surgery here. I can't believe it died on me. I got this magnificent sports tape. I use it for my fingers, but it's so sticky that I think it would be nice to use as some sort of tape for the and now I can't speak while I do this <laughs> I think this um, sports tape it's got like that fabric texture thing so it's it's probably nice to use instead of gaffer's tape but it's like super sticky I mean <laughs> I can barely Cut it with a scissor. Come on. Okay. Let's do some journal surgery. Is it the right way up? Yes, it is. That would be so me to put it back together upside down, right? <laughs> I can't even get it on straight. I think I may need to remove this part right here because it is uh, an obstruction from getting it on straight. Okay, it's still the right way. Haha. <laughs> so you can open your eyes again now. It's back to almost perfect shape and this is where it died on me maybe i should just uh glue in some of my washi right there just kind of keep the the gap together <laughs> oh fluorescent glue stick 
it's a Peter. It's a pain in the butt. Don't get it. Don't get it. I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate why. Um, you know what? You would think that it will get transparent when it dries up. No. <laughs> That's how annoying it is. So let's say that I get something on my finger and I do like this. Then I am almost not able to get rid of that uh, orange residue and sometimes if i uh, let me demonstrate it with a uh, like really skinny washing tape let's say that i want to glue down this uh, washi tape oh that was a little bit that was a lot but it's because it's i'm just a pig with it let's see if i can scoop it back up Okay, it will show through, isn't it annoying? And yes, sir, it will dry up like that. It will dry up with that orange ghosting through and it's horrible. And I got a deal on Amazon with some purple, green and orange. So of course I got like 12 sticks of them. But um, there probably was a reason why it wasn't a discount, right? Oh, Lena and uh, sticking back back papers that sticks. I am not. There we go. There we go. Okay, I think I should kind of collect this. Lots of glue on that one. Hopefully it will uh, somehow hold this together. Yeah, now when I'm flipping, I don't feel like that's where they uh, split and went to each. Oh, look at those flowers. This picture is so cute. Uh, maybe we have some uh, very cute, cute. Look. Oh, this, 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 this. Okay, how how would a smart person attach this? Like coming down here, maybe. I'm praying that a layering technique will make it more pretty and less obnoxious to look at, but um, I never know for sure. <laughs> but sometimes when we're doing like small ATCs, it looks uh, cute when it's layered up. How do we feel about that leg? I don't, I, I like his feet, but I don't like that. I'm going to partially cover it up so we have to guess what's behind this stripe of paper um uh, well you are ready for halloween <laughs> yes uh yeah so true kelly what i do mostly is that i try to glue down only thick paper because uh, as you can see it doesn't go through uh, thick papers but then I also have to be careful with not having a, a, a glob on the edge that you kind of smear out and think, oh, well, <laughs> it's done because you can like make like an orange stroke. Okay, this page is cute too. And look what's lying right here. If I just take these two hearts here. Hey, did anyone see APG Jamie's upload for just, uh, I think it was an hour ago? She's using um, swatches and making clusters of them. 
So, you know, I watched Kathy Arbor and the Sandra Scraps to Beauty. They're working with the book, something about colors in my garden or something. But basically it's about swatching. And then uh, I think that Jamie took it up a notch by uh, just saying, hey, <laughs> just take any kind of swatch that you like and then start making uh, clusters with it. And I actually like what she produced. It came out really nice. Okay, here. I'm a little bit in doubt with this one. Is it too much? It's not too much. I'm going to glue it down. <laughs> scratchy, scratchy. I hear noises from my uh, washi tape. Do you want to see how it behaves when we're not looking at it? <laughs> like kids. Not sitting straight on their bumps. Look, <laughs> I even thought that I would avoid this by taping it down. But it's dry now, it seems like, almost. Okay, I'm just going to let it sit for just... No, it is actually dry. Okay, I'm just going to wash my hand. Uh, oh, thank you for uh, Rhonda for the link to Jamie. I liked it a lot. Uh, Janet, the metal punch that I have that is used to make on quarter inch holes for grommets works on erasers. Ah, oh, that's a cool tip. We saw that Janet and Young she uses round erasers to make like tiny polka dots, and they're like perfectly round like like really like super small and round so that was a really nice tip okay what i would do now is to go on top of this with the stamped images and i do like the ones that are a little bit whimsical and with text on it um let me see I need to dig out my stamp, so just a minute. Hmm. You know what? I might as well just give Janet a heart attack. Cover your eyes, Janet. Oh, this is my pile of stamps. <laughs> this is my stash of stamps. And they are in a horrendous pile of, of madness. What is this? One one fine day, I should sit down and see if I can sort these out. These are actually kind of cute. They're different. Yeah, I'm going to work with this set here. One day, I should actually sit and sort them out. This is what I'm looking for, you know, just some text. Or maybe this text here is better because it's got a clock on it. Let's do both. Oh, look. Um, these round ones. Hmm. What does it say? Okay, I like the shape of just a round, a round one. Most of them are planner uh, stamps, you know, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, one, two, three. That one is cute. I also need to think about, and I'm cutting it up in stripes afterwards, you know. 
so maybe I should just try what I got now and see if that's enough. What about this crazy stamp set here? Can I use these borders for anything? Maybe that border stripe right there is kind of fun to work with. curious about this right here well my archival ink just died on me it's dried out and then I bought some black soot re-inker <laughs> and um, I still think that it's like super dry so I got an idea to just take one of these that I have so many of I use it for work to re-ink uh, Work stamp, <laughs> a stamp for work, but it's super juicy because it's brand new. So I was thinking maybe I could use this one instead because that dried up stamp pad is just obnoxious to work with. So let, let me see if it works. Yeah, it's juicy. Okay, we're going to use this. Now that I have it on, I'm just going to stamp it random places okay it's going to be quick because it's going to be cut up so it's not like I need to color in or nothing but let's try this round stamp right here I just like that it's round and it says congratulations in Dan Danish hey could you stay on this map apparently not <laughs> It's like a teenage paper. Okay, let me get one that's like offset of the page. Okay, enough about that. Maybe I can stamp. Maybe I should clean them off since I'm streaming to be a good role model. And really in the camera so you can see that I'm cleaning it off. Just to be setting a good example. Okay, it is a little bit annoying to use this as a stamp pad, but at least it works. You even get to stamp at work. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> but it's like super boring stamps. It stamps with dates and then a, a, an ongoing number for when I'm doing my bookkeeping. Because Lena don't trust the computer. <laughs> so I totally am super anal because it's important. It's my money, you know. <laughs> so I do all my booking manually. And then I dot it into the computer. I mean, I, have you known anyone who does it like that? And when I do it manually, it's very neat with the um, 
I don't even know what it's called in English, <laughs> but like a, a forthgoing number on each uh, uh, invoice that I am starting in. <laughs> and then um, I scan in the invoice. So I also have a digital copy for my own booking. I'm super anal like that. I know. I know a, a lot of people is like, you know, it's a waste of time, right? Why don't you just trust the computer? But I don't trust the computer. That's the whole thing of it. I want it in my garage. So even if we're having a power shortage and if our government come visiting wanted to look at my books, I can drag them out and show them without having access to a computer or power. So... Uh, yeah, that was a long story. But of course, I bought a lot of uh, fun stamps, like paid and date, and uh, one that sets an, uh, a number that just keep adding one and one and one to the number. This is a cute girl stamp. Why did I ever use that? I, I don't think I've used this a lot. It's actually cute. It's from my planner days. You know, it's a little girl holding a planner. And look, I got like small journals here. Oh, yeah, it's been a long time since that has been peeled off. Maybe like never. Oh my God, do you guys do that? Buy something and think you're going to treasure it and then just never get used. Okay, let's see how it looks when it's stamped out. Yeah, that's a lot of work. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. It's like quiet eyes. Uh, can you see that, you know, that Japanese when there's like a face on it? That is so cute. Yeah, I know it's a lot of work, but it's like super important, you know, it's it's the money I've always had huge respect for anything with money <laughs> so okay what else was in that stamp set i don't think that i ever have used this one is that a tn maybe or is it a cell phone let's stamp it out oh you are out of focus but in my arms <laughs> I'm sorry. I wonder how long you were out of focus. Okay, there is a, a stamp right here that I haven't used either. Let's see what it is. Whoops. Oh my god, that's so cute. It's like a TN with smiley faces on. TN over the place. That one I liked. That was a cute one. Okay, next. <laughs> next. This is also planner stamps. Oh. We have a teddy bear. Oh, I'm so scared of ripping it apart. Okay, I think I'm going to line up all these small ones just to see how they stamp out. And they're like super tiny, so maybe they will even be fun for small washi. I can hear that the kids are out on the street. Did you know last weekend I was filming something outside because I was sitting in the garden and painting and I was kind of in my own head. So I didn't, I realized that some kids were making noises in the back, but I didn't listen what they said. And then I went to my edit program to edit out what I had filmed. And then they were playing some sort of game where they were constantly screaming, Die! Die! <laughs> I have no idea what they're playing. 
but apparently someone who had to get killed every second just die <laughs> so i kind of don't know if i should use that footage so much maybe i can use it for um you know just speed um do we call it speed painting <laughs> so i can edit out their screams Uh, in my own head, a place I spend most of my time. <laughs> what, what is that? Um, from is that a song? <laughs> no, that's Barb. <laughs> Say I thought it was Barb on Chicken Pot Pie. Ooh, need to take care of these. Yeah, they're cute. It's like small houses. A thumbs up and uh, an envelope. No wonder. I mean, how how. Who would give themselves a thumbs up in a in a planner? I got no idea. Okay, putting it back. You know what? I think actually that I have enough stamps on this because uh, it's getting a little bit uh, <laughs> too long now. Too much time spent on this. So I'm just going to random stamp of the empty spaces and then keep on telling you guys that wait for it we're gonna cut it up in stripes and it's gonna look fabulous you don't trust me wait for it <laughs> finished okay let's clean off this to be really okay Time to new baby wipe. It was <laughs> just what I said. <laughs> okay. Oh, now I know what you mean. <laughs> Janet would thumbs up herself in a planner. Yeah, and, and use that tick, you know, marked off, done that. <laughs> that is cute. It's a very ferocious ink. I can't even get it off my finger with baby wipes. So uh, probably it's like a government approved, <laughs> non-fading, uh, will last forever, ever ink. Okay, now for the best part. It is when I need to uh, slice it up. I can't remember who started doing this. It is such an old trick on the book. I wonder who it was. But in my mind, we have always made our own homemade washi somehow. You know, cutting things up to stripes, using the stripes in collage. So I don't even know who to credit for this, but it works. I do random thicknesses because I just think that it's fun to have random slices. So, like, I got this girl right here. I actually think that I would call her one giant piece. And then I also get that Danish text with it. And here I can go like smaller and smaller. And now I get to a watch. I think I'm going to take like half of the Oh, I'm going to kill the teddy bear. Okay, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to slice up the teddy bear. So I'm just going to take the whole bear. And that's how I decide, you know, how thick and thin my... Uh, what she is going to be i just look at the stamped images here i want to preserve those cute planners so i'm just trimming down
And then guys, look at this fabulous. Let us find like this page right here got some blue tones on it. Let me show you how it works. It's Avery sticker paper. So <laughs> Oh my god, let go. Like normal people would just be able to rip the backing off like no issue at all. There's something about the stickiness of Avery sticker paper. It's like better than washi and it's better than this desk office tape that I got. It's like super sticky. Oy, but I can still take it a and you know it's not like totally marriage to the page so i can still like no now it's too late can you see that it's like it's um like intelligent <laughs> it doesn't stick right away you, you get a chance to rip it off and reposition it and then stick it down again but once it's been down for about a very small minute <laughs> you can't peel it off i mean then it's uh, totally just stuck to the page so once you get to know the how sticky they are, regular washi tape is annoying to work with because uh, you will miss that nice uh, glue that's on this uh, Avery page paper here. And here, okay, I'm gonna do it. I can even do it where there is. Um, a gutter down here. <laughs> a gusset? Is it called a gusset? I can, it's because it's so sticky. I can even, I dare to do it like in the center of a page spread because I know it will just stay put. Like if you did that with regular washi, you would be hating life because it's just keep on, you know, peeling off. Okay, here we got some purpley, purpley color also. I'm just gonna oh look I got a flap right here so I can make it tipping. Oh this book just keep on giving. We got some uh, green paper here. Or is it there is greenish here? Okay, I'm gonna go for that tipping that's just been giving to me right there and I think I will uh, glue it down with washi so let me just get a thin stripe of something green from this sheet here Okay, I need to be like really thin. So uh, I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna decapitate the, <laughs> the teddy. I'm sorry, teddy. Here we go. Okay, I th think I want to have this go around the edge of the paper just to make it stronger. Oh man, I, I, th I need an assistant to do this peeling. There we go. Okay. To make it stronger, I think I would like it to kind of bend around the edge just a little smidgen. So instead of cutting off the excess tape, I'm just going to bend it. And then cut off this I'm gonna glue this one down. <laughs> why waste it okay this is like cardstock 
I don't want to use a glue stick for that. So I think I'm going to get my double sided adhesive. Uh, maybe this one. That was a heavy train. Did you guys hear that? Once in a while, this very big mofo train comes passing by our house. I don't know if it's carrying uh, windmills or <laughs> it's just a, a really huge engine. Okay, let me slice up this um, washi before I interrupt myself once again. Okay, we got the whatever that is, a carrot. And now we got a whole little girl here. But I can see that's where the, the page is torn every way. Anyway. So go there. And then I think I would like that whole notebook. Okay, piece of cake. But I'm telling you guys, these washi stripes hopefully are going to be the jewelry on, on my pages <laughs> because now comes that random gloom part that I fear a little bit because it's like sort of out of control so I hope that the, you're working on some sort of interesting project so don't the think that I'm making magic today. <laughs> oh, Rhonda, you like to hear train on Mary's streams too? Imagine if it was the same train. Hey, look, we got pink here. We got pink here. This would actually be nice. What an awesome drawing this is. Okay, I'm going to save this one. Uh, I can't use this. I want to I'm going to make this guy. Oh, <laughs> he's going in my journal. I want to make that one. So I'm putting him in my journal because then I will remember. Look, I tried out that the uh, Alison the Wand. From Sandra Scraps to Beauty was talking about a YouTuber called Alison Dewand. Dewand? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> leave it to me to butcher your name, right? But at least her name is Alison. <laughs> and she makes these uh, nice bouquet in a very uh, wild way. I studied her reference pictures. Don't hang me out up on it. But I actually think that she's cutting out some of her roses and collaging them in. And okay, I'm I, I don't I'm not sure. And it's not a bad thing. It's not like that. I just want to put it out there <laughs> because uh, you know what? If you have like one or two flowers that are perfect in this cluster, it will elevate the whole drawing. Let me give an example. I studied, I enlarged her screen. At, you know, I really am serious. I think that she's collaging in um, real pictures of, uh, of flowers in her paintings. And that's uh, giving it a very special effect. Could this be a good example? No, it has to be like a rose. Okay, I want to find the perfect flower. Here we are close to something. Okay, don't uh, think that I think it's like cheating. It's so not is cheating. It's just a different way of looking at something created with a wild abstract brush. And suddenly you get something that's super detailed with a high realism. And it elevates the whole painting. And I'm, I'm, I'm pondering why. And I'm coming to the conclusion 
that if you collage in a fabulous rose that's picture perfect, you can commit murder on your page and the receiver will still think that, oh, she did everything, <laughs> even that perfect rose. So suddenly the messy flowers will not appear like a person who cannot draw flowers, but like you intended that messy, fuzzy, blurry look of abstract flowers because you kind of demonstrate it with that perfect rose that you can make a flower. Does it make any sense? Do I make it sound like she's cheating? I hope not. I don't feel she is. Did you see the difference, guys? <laughs> Can you see what I mean? Can you see it? Okay, let me let me add in uh, another flower. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that would be a miracle tree. <laughs> we also stop at Hogwarts. <laughs> and 100 boxes unpacked. I found the bloody bone folder. Oh my God, Tori. Reminding me of myself. I needed to find my heat gun. We had to pack down part of our house when we had our roofing done and stuff. And then I went through several boxes just to find that damn heat gun. <laughs> okay, I'm cutting, cutting, cutting. Okay, let's see if I can prove my point. Like, yes, this is cute, but look what happens when I attach a real flower. <laughs> Where to stick it? Here? Or... I'm just going to stick it. Can you see a difference? To me, it's huge. To me, the difference is huge. And that's... Um, just um, maybe it's just in my head that uh, my head kind of register that this is a complete perfect flower. So it's telling my brain that everything is a bouquet and flowers in case the, there was any doubt. So it kind of helped my brain to accept this as a rose, for instance. Let me see if I can find like, oh, this one is cool also. I think that's a great idea. Use what you find or have. Yeah, and it's not cheating. It's elevating. It's like a bling bling on your abstract flower painting, in my opinion. Because you just it's just like adding frosting to your abstract flower bouquet. And you don't need much. I uh, I bought several of her videos and saw that she uses about one or two uh, cutouts. Like this is uh, the flower head. It's a flower. I don't know what it's called in, in English. I'm just going to place it uh, strategically maybe around here. Yeah, I like it. I just, uh, I will, I'm gonna <laughs> take this with me in memory next time I am working on abstraction that uh, it kind of helps, it makes it more pleasing if you can add real <laughs> things inside your, abs your, your abstract word, work. Um, I can't even speak. Okay, but let, let's hide that image so I won't, uh, here he is, because I want to paint this guy right here. That's going to be my next painting. Okay, back to this wonderful mess here. <laughs> I'm dreading that I have to put down paint at some point. 
should I just okay I'm gonna skip to the part where I start putting down paint because I think you get the idea with gluing down all these uh, all these pieces here I'm just gonna separate them a little bit Ooh, that one is beautiful I don't like all the food pages like Ugh, what is that? Uh, I'm going to cover it up. So let me see what I got to cover it up with. I got the scrapbook paper. Yeah, that's a good starter to cover up. That the uh, pile of uh, food right there. I'm just going to use double-sided adhesive tape for this cardstock here. Didi uses acrylic paint. I think I want to go gouache. I think I want to explore APG Jamie's um, crazy swatch. You know, doing like swatch things with gouache. What do we have here? Uh, we have some dots. Okay, we're going to continue with that dot thing right there. This is actually also pretty cool. <laughs> what? Oh, it's double. Lucky me, it's double because I really like that background. Is it adhesive? Oh, my God, it's washy. Okay, I don't even know what I have. Guys, this is washy too. nice a smile is the prettiest thing you can wear i think that should go right here who was it who said that a laugh is a smile with sound was it on bob owen's stream i think it was Sticker paper. Oh, thank you, Rhonda. Okay, I'm going to glue this down. That was a very, very cute quote. And see, now that nasty <laughs> plate of food is gone. Like that. Whoops, it's getting skinnier and skinnier, this washy. Oh man, let me just work on this page right here and dig out that gouache palette. I should turn on some light maybe. It's about that time. Hold on, I'm just going to get my gouache. I think I'm going to use this palette. That's a good one. It's a year old and it's from Addix. And um, it's still holding up. It's not like super liquid as when I got it. But it's still gouache gouache, you know, like liquid. So let me find a, a flat brush.
to make that one. Okay, APG Jamie. Oh, I need to stir this one up. It looks uh, like it's separated a little bit. Everything else okay? Yeah, it looks okay. Maybe it's a little bit hard. Yeah, this one is a little bit hard. On the point of getting a little bit... Uh, I'm just going to add some water. Okay. I'm just going to start. I'm going to do some swatches. I think I'm going to look at what do we have on this page spread that we can find in this palette. Definitely this uh, lilac. And here I hope to cover up those nasty food things up here. It probably won't work. Maybe I should go with some white also. I'm thinking <laughs> I have an idea could it couldn't it be fun to um okay let me see how many pages do we have oh man that's a lot are we at the beginning okay I have a crazy idea imagine um what is it called in English? In stry, a stroke, a pencil line, a line. It's called a line. Imagine having one line that starts on the first page, like right here where the pencil is. <laughs> and it's one long unbroken line through the whole journal. Yeah, I like that because then suddenly this tiny journal got some sort of a purpose or like something I only do in this journal. Okay, I'm going to do it. Okay. <laughs> I have to start from page one. This might be a crazy idea, but let me uh, quickly get something done on the paper so you can see what I mean. Oh my God, that's going to take forever to dry. So I'm going to smear it out first. Just to get that spread out so it won't take so long to dry up because now I want to <laughs> flip to the first page. Okay, okay. This is the first page. Now I want to quickly uh, decorate it, cover it up because I want to follow my idea. So now I'm just going to work like really fast. Maybe it's not so bad with those uh, white areas. Maybe white should be preserved somehow. Uh, we don't want the cute journals to be sideways. Oh, that is like, look at me. Oh, food again. What's up with all this food? 
just gonna put it over here. Okay, think, think, think. Something uh, quickly. Um, this almost have the same color. Yeah, let's get that down. <laughs> I have to see it visually. I have to uh, try it on the first page and see if it uh, translates from my brain to paper looking cool or if it's just going to look stupid. So let me uh, super quickly. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna tear this in half because we kind of know that it's a light bulb. And then maybe I can use this on another page, like over here, maybe. Ah, I'm not so keen of all the food. I don't know. Maybe that's a strange place. Here. Hi, Amber. <laughs> okay, we need more on this one before it's totally covered. But, you know, it's still just a starter, right? Should we cover the potatoes? Potatoes, potatoes. I think I'm going to leave the potatoes because um, maybe you can draw faces on them. Maybe this one. Okay, now we got some faces on these potatoes. Um, it's from a, an artist called Paul Klee. Oh, okay. I was just thinking, okay, let's say that I had already decorated these pages. Imagine the line is starting here where the pencil is and it's just going. And then turning into maybe some sort of a chair that this guy is standing on. And then continuing here. And then um, we could have like, you need some sort of a spoon to eat this. Is it a dessert? I don't know. <laughs> and then it's going, it doesn't have to go just in the bottom, it can end here and then come out up here, right here. 
then it's coming out and then it could actually be also a flower and then continue oh shoot can you see how i'm using um alcohol marker that bleeds through that's not good <laughs> i sort of need to change my marker but before i change my marker i just want to get to this girl right here And then I want to become a handbag. And let's see what's on the other side. Oh, that's the potatoes. Okay, I should totally change my marker so I won't using a, a bleed through one. Uh, yeah, I can see how this could work. Oh my god, that's actually fun, you know, having a line that goes through, one unbroken line that goes through this whole journal, trying to uh, interact with what's, what's on the, the page. I'm going to find, do um, you think that a China marker would be the best? Uh, it wouldn't bleed through. Where's my china, my bar? Um, once upon a time, I think I had a china marker. I need some water, just a second. Mm. It's such a shame that I don't have the pages prepped with the background. <laughs> Okay, China, where are you? Hmm. Okay, let's go. I think this is better okay i want to fix this ghosting right here just with some paint if it's opaque enough otherwise i need to put some glue something down there We got something sticking out of his butt right here. <laughs> okay, we did not decide where it's gonna come on this side, but I could make it come. We actually have a perfect spot here to to draw something, which could be like a, a butterfly. And of course, we could paint in that butterfly, making it there. Uh, we got some orange right there. So if we take some orange color, and then we got some green. feel my head was touching the camera. I'm sorry if my uh, head was uh, in the camera. 
<laughs> you like that butterfly? It's not done yet. I still need like dots on, on the wings. Okay, and from here, of course, he should have like fat legs. <laughs> now I wish that there were more potatoes in this booklet. Oh my God, can you just picture this one lying down also? Help, help, I'm lying here. <laughs> that is so hilarious. Help. Okay, I'm gonna use this marker for the eyes of this one. They should be like going outwards, like. Like this one is mad because this is the butt of somebody else. So if he's lying upwards, his legs would be something like. And then maybe <laughs> make some of his face so we understand that he's lying upside down. <laughs> we got a potato not looking so happy because he's looking into the butt of this potato who's lying upside down. <laughs> oh my gosh, we should have had more. More sacks of potatoes in this journal. Okay, maybe I can make those dots with this one. Oh, it's still wet. From there, I think the line work should continue here because it kind of ghosted through. And the... Here we're gonna have, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a ladybug sitting to eat. Oh, you're out of focus. I'm sorry. Arms. Arms always helps. Isn't it funny? <laughs> Probably. Okay, that was a bad joke. I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have a, a ladybug sitting on a chair. First of all, I'm gonna draw the chair. This is a chair. And here we have a ladybug with her she's ready to eat I better color her in red <laughs> And what should she eat? It's just gonna make a a pile of green stuff on her plate. And then I'm gonna connect like this chair is connected to her. She's touching the table, so the illusion is still alive that we could continue the line up here maybe. And now the line work is here, somewhere here. Uh, <laughs> could it dry? I'm gonna. Try. He said it. about the potato farm. It must smell like french fries, right? <laughs> it's just like, ew. But we got this. Um, you could actually choose to uh, work with a tone. Can you see that? How can we do that easily? <laughs> Maybe with gelatos? Like, um, 
if you needed to uh, uh, put focus on that line, I'm just thinking that then you could actually, like, just like negative painting, you could color out where this line is cutting. You could call it the page in kind of half, you know? Because then it would be like super more obviously, uh, that was a long word to say, it would be more um, obviously that you're working with a line. Because uh, you let the colors help you to define where Especially here with the table, you know, where she's the ladybug is sitting at dinner. Maybe the line should go, maybe the line should be the one pretending to draw these planners. So you can use your, your stamp as, uh, as what you made. And what's on the other side? More potatoes! Can you believe it? We got more potatoes. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Where do I want the line? It should come down this way. Okay, all the way down here. Okay, so I want the line to poop out of the page down here. And then I'm simply just going to color in everything below that line. Yeah, that makes sense in my fat noodle, you know, that this color blocking is stressing out the travel of the line. If you want to, um, you can just take like a wet baby wipe and then the gelato is much more manageable when it comes to spreading out. Ooh, new color too. Guys, man, new color too is born for this kind of blocking out colors oh i like this project thank you Didi, for this mini magazine this is uh unexpectedly f more fun than i have thought i thought it was a little bit scary to begin with i was like clueless you know okay let's go back to these pages and see where can we use a color it's like I just stopped the line right here and didn't uh, continue it. Okay, can you see I can attach the line to the spoon? Like it's the line that's uh, painting the spoon. I'm even going to use the line on top of the spoon because then it would make sense that it comes out here. That was actually pure luck, you know, right there. It was right with that spoon in. That was really lucky. Okay, I'm going to pick a color to uh, um, color in. Oh, there's a lot you can color in here. Look, there was like the flower. The flower should be blue, right? Because she's got like blue stuff on her blouse. And a yellow center and maybe like a green leaf oh if you're wondering i'm just using oil pastels from the uh, fan go it's a very inexpensive student grade brand and they are so yummy because they're like sticky but not uh super sticky but they're pliable so you can still manipulate with your fingers with them I like that a lot without being like super creamy I need a color that goes below this. Uh, what would you guys pick? I'm thinking like a brownish color because there's so much beige up here. So let, let us try just for fun a beige, even though it wouldn't be like first pick of favorite colors. <laughs> but maybe I got something like ochre, ochreish. ish 
um, looking for this one. Okay, maybe that one. Yeah. Oh, I am uh, <laughs> ignoring chat. I'm sorry. Let's see. A mini ho hi, mini hobby. <laughs> I did. I think I did say hello to you guys. <laughs> Uh, let's see, works for me. Uh, okay. <laughs> now I'm going to color in that below. No, it's too weak. Can you see that? I want a, a better coverage. Or do I? Hang on. Will it still just... No, I, I need something that's uh, more opaque. So maybe it would be uh, a gouache, a job for something with gouache, but then I would lose the layer. I like that you could still see the layer. Let us just stick to something greenish then. Yeah, this is opaque enough. That will do. I like that you can just be messy because you know you're just going to cover this up. So you can just go crazy with big strokes. And then suddenly it might not be that important that you made it cute with all your collage pieces. If... I'm going to cover it up anyway with this uh, new idea of that that tone below the line <laughs> thing. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Sometimes baby wipe just takes off product instead of smearing it. Without even thinking about it, I think it was cute to choose the green because then it looks like the flower is standing on some sort of a green field. Yeah, I like that. It's still a work in progress. I mean, it's not like this page is done, you know what I mean? Because now I want to move to the potato. Oh my god. I hope I pray that the potatoes is laying in some sort of cluster where we can uh, maybe like a movie reference. Okay, what do we have? What, what do we have to work with? Okay. Could we do fellowship of the rings? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then Gandalf. We can actually do like a, a Lord of the Rings scenery here. Okay, I'm going to go for it. That sounds like fun. Um, I think I want to cover up. No, I can't do that. I already worked on this page. What I was thinking was that I wanted to completely cover up this area here. Because uh, then I could use my... Uh, Alcohol marker. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I want to find a pen that doesn't go through the paper. I'm thinking Micron. Just a second. Oh. Okay, this... You know what? This is the gate to Moria. And it says Melon up here because that's the elvish name of friend. And the, the Fellowship of the Rings is standing in front of this gate trying to get in. So, of course, we have Gandalf touching the gate, trying all his spells. You know, can you, can you just picture it for you? Which one would be perfect for Gandalf? Um, maybe here, you know, and I think I, I need that pointy hat. Mm. 
Now he's going to look like a garden elf. <laughs> he, he sort of also need his uh, his stick so we know who he is. You shall let me pass. He's got like uh, crazy hair. So I'm just going to do like this. Okay, note to self. Do not put hair on potato. It, it doesn't look nice. Okay, I got that. No hair on the potato. Let's try and silver this in so it's like Gandalf's gray hat. Okay, and here we got, wasn't the Pippin who threw a stone on the lake? And he was, uh, or oh, oh, this, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, this, uh, now I'm thinking ahead of myself. This guy here could be Sam. Samwise Gamgee. And he's actually holding that horse, you know, in the show. Oh, no. Oh, I have to draw a horse. <laughs> I am not good at drawing horses. Okay, we're going to try. A horse have, first of all, one set of ears, right? And then it has a head. Please don't look like a dog. And then another ear. Snout. Uh, like strong legs. Uh, a round tummy. Hooves. Oh, look at that. It's just too big for the... There's something wrong with the dimension of the head. Okay. This is supposed to be a horse. That Samwise Gamgee is holding. And because I draw I drew the dimension totally wrong. I'm going to load this poor horse up with all sorts of gadgets and bags and stuff. To divert people's attention about the strange proportion. So maybe that works like it's right. I hope so. Okay, we actually had like a leg here. That's Samwise Gamgee. And then we have, we could have Frodo here. He is so tired of holding that ring. I'm going to put the ring around him in a necklace like this. Oh, he's really tired. And then we, we need the, we need some guy that's asleep. Just like this. How would you, uh, <laughs> how would you be asleep? Is it just like this? Yeah, I think so. And then maybe... He's asleep. And the, then we could have like Aragon. He's on the lookout because he's always like that. And then he's going to have a crown because he's going to be like King Aragon. <laughs> okay. He is uh, the king, right? With a crown. I guess I think because he's looking in that direction that we should draw we should draw Janet like this. Is it a cookie? It's not a cookie, but we can give it a crown. It's some sort of an egg omelette. Um, I know the Danish word for it, like a 
Uh, what's the name in English? It's something you can eat that's very tasty. But lo and behold, if you touch and eat it, you're going to get spanked. It's Janet. You need some sort of uh, a golden... Do I have like a, a thick, fat gold crayon? And you know what? Instead of a, um, a scepter, she's holding a ruler. She's like <laughs> not happy because she don't like to be potatoed unexpectedly. She needs a giant chair to sit on, and that could be like the continuation of the the line work. Oh my god, the horse could be look, we're coming down here. Okay, we're coming down here. That's where the river starts. That's gonna be a river. Uh so Okay, I'm thinking <laughs> because this needs to be like a high chair, like a, like a crown chair. So this white here is it's like pillows. Um, <laughs> yes, the Janet would need to be holding a ruler. The mean egg would have beaten or a potato or a <laughs> potato masher. That is so hilarious. I like that she's angry. She's like, what the hell? Um, I think should I have someone like bowing as the continuation of the of the the line? How do I make like somebody kneeling down? How about this? <laughs> That's not so good. Maybe we get the picture. And then down to the chair. And, um, okay, these other potatoes. Okay, one of them have to be Dee Dee, right? We're just going to make one with white and black stripes on it. And then we know it's Dee Dee. Because Dee Dee is the one with white and uh, uh, black striped uh, clothes. Okay, that's Dee Dee. And then we. <laughs> We need one who is the rat. So for that, we're going to do like a... That's supposed to be the rat. And uh, this, uh, 
this thing up here, thinking, thinking, that could be like, um, you could have French fries as the subject of the potato king. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. That's not bad. And <laughs> I think this one up here should be Devon, like the boss. She's gonna have like um, I'm. She's gonna have a sign saying the boss. That's like Janet's minions. <laughs> this is fun. I still need more character over here. Where did the micron go? Okay, I like that they are looking at each other. Eight, two, three, four, five, six. We need three more. I think we could just go like they are lying down or something. Help! I'm being squashed. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wait with the two. I'm going to save these two until I get something really crazy to think about. Gandalf. I'm going to write Gandalf. Otherwise, I'm going to look at it in two hours and then I can't remember who was with what. Okay, and now I can make all of this blue. Okay, where does the line, the line moves on from this chair? Maybe from one of Dee Dee's uh, stripes here. And then where should it start? Okay, we have like a, a free choice place uh, on, the, on the other page. So I'm just going to let it start just there. <laughs> I like this. Now let me find something bluish. Oh, this is a nice one. Here we've got that humble servant right here. And then, ooh, the chair. Okay, we're gonna make, oh, we have to make everything blue under the chair. Because that's the rule. <laughs> the ruler rules. I gotta write Hakuna Matata <laughs> somewhere in this page spread here. Let me get rid of my notifications. Um, okay. Hakuna. Oops. Hakuna. And then Matata, really big, like it's been yelled. Hakuna Matata, god damn it. Because she swears a lot. That's not me swearing. <laughs> I like this page spread. Okay, let me see. Did I have like, yeah, I have a, a color I need to add over here. It could be like some pinkish, pinkish tone. Or orange, even. Or what about this one? Yeah, I'm going to try this one. 
because I got that sort of, sort of, like this is where everything is getting born. Oh no, I got a dirty finger. <laughs> okay, I could clean it up. This over here is where everything is being born. If this is like a one-liner journal, like one line, we could stuff it up with one-liners, you know? Like all those stupid, like, oh, you must be tired because you've been running around in my mind all night kind of quotes. There must be like a million of them out there. The whole journal could actually be baptized one liner, one liner. <laughs> I'm gonna call mine for one liner, <laughs> one liner. L e n e a l e n a e a one linear. I don't know. It's gonna be something strange in Denmark if I try to. Do an incorporation of my name with an English. <laughs> no, no, potata. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Bakuna potata. Oh my god, we gotta have that. Okay, I'm just gonna write that really big. Um. Hakuna potata. Hakuna potata. That is, you know what? I'm done saying Hakuna matata to Janet. <laughs> From now on, I'm saying Hakuna potata. Oh my God, that is hilarious. That was so funny. Okay, who's the genius who came up with that? That was Tori. <laughs> oh, that is so brilliant. Hakuna potata. Okay, I got it starts here. Duk, 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 duk. Okay, now it comes to this edge right here. The line comes out right here. And this is sort of a boring page. <laughs> There's like not much going on. This is what I started with. Do we have something that just immediately sparks an idea somewhere? Hmm, that could be, you could turn that over to faces with a dress and an ear with an earring. thinking <laughs> okay now this is what I don't like I don't really work like random like back and forth I like you know from the start to the end so I'm just gonna continue here a smile is the prettiest thing you can wear how about that this line comes over here and then sort of withdraw this toothless or like this one tooth person making the happiest smile ever ever to stand next to this quote here if i'm lucky i can make that person look super cute so uh how would i divide the page i'm thinking like color wise or should i totally okay we're gonna go below the quote so that the quote will be the biggest thing on the on this page right here. And then we're gonna steal this heart like like this. And why not like 
repetition. Steal this shape of the heart one more time. And now we have to come into that fabulous joy of a one tooth person. Maybe I should uh, white out this first so we don't have such a busy background. A wonderful Friday. <laughs> Yeah. Kuna <laughs> potato. <laughs> you know what? Even my hubby is going to crack up when I tell him that. <laughs> Sometimes when I try to explain him something funny I think happened on a stream, he doesn't get it. <laughs> and it makes me look so weird. Okay, time for a... Um, Think, think, thingy. I need to think about that uh, that shape. Oh, wow. It's already past eight. Guys, just uh, go if you have to be somewhere. Um, I don't think that Bob Owen is streaming today. I know she's not. But you've already been here like two hours. That's a long time. <laughs> so um, it's so fine with me if you have to be somewhere else. Oh, I'm going to heat set this. It's like a little bit moist. <laughs> oh, it is so good. That we got you and in chat because you're like uh, the person who know what the hell we are doing here. <laughs> okay, he's got a quote. Okay, apparently there is this guy called uh, Paul Klee. And uh, he has, uh, according to Anne, this uh, quote saying, a line is a dot that went for a walk. So I think I want to write that up here. Like that's the beginning page of the, the journal. Should we give him like a real journal spot? No, it's okay with this one. Um, okay. How do you write quotes so they look interesting? How about... A line is a and then I'm gonna fatten it up a line is a dot that went for a walk. And then really big. Uh, then we should do something with dots here <laughs> because that's the quote. And then his name down here. Uh, how do you spell it? Paul Klee? Uh, 
I love that we got so brilliant people in chat like you and who know exactly what we're doing. <laughs> because then it makes us look so much better here on the other end of the camera. Um, I love that quote, Lena, a line is a dot that went for a walk, makes me want to get out a pen and see where it wants to go exactly. <laughs> yes. See, you all have at some point, not quite sure when, love to all. I see you all at some point. I thought you meant that we all got a point. But hey, look who you're talking to, Barb. <laughs> Have a nice weekend, Barb, wherever you are. And throw a potato at Janet if you fly over her. <laughs> She'll catch it. Uh, let's see. Take care, Barb. Oh, my God. I can't believe that it's already weekend. It feels like it's only been a couple of days since our last stream. Okay, I'm here at this page right here. And now I want to draw. I know that it's going to be a person with just a big happy smile. And then one tooth. And I think that tooth should be black. Okay, now the, what to do about that fork? Maybe I can incorporate that fork somehow. I think I'm gonna turn this into a frog or something sitting. Now it's going to be like a lady who squat. <laughs> I think this is a perfect example of why you should always have like a reference photo. No, it's going to be a potato. We're going to make this into a potato. Penetrated by a fork. Okay, we're going to find some potato colors. Maybe this golden one is a good starter. I'm having doubts about this page spread right here. <laughs> And then the line could be like this handle of the fork. Okay, we're definitely going to need something in that color right there. Okay, let's audition this one. Is it okay? Oh, it's okay. Gonna be a little bit muddy, but let's let's first plug that in so it might help us to see the outline of this potato. Oh man, it's like drawing with lipstick. Of course, not the best tool if you're like a pen crusher. Then you would like really be disappointed in the, these gel sticks here. But it is like satisfying to draw like with something that's so smooth like lipstick. I think I want to color in the background so that the eyes and the mouth will pop more. 
So I think I'm going to choose like a green tone, maybe with this uh, gouache. Just uh, kind of hoping that it will make the eyes pop a little bit more. Oh no, it's a mistake to color the, the fork. I don't, I didn't want to color in the fork. Okay, we got to <laughs> see if we can rescue it. Okay, plug it in, plug it in like this. And then maybe with white gouache, save the fork. Hi, Joan. <laughs> Oh, so please, you called me live. You know what? You need to make some stencils, Joan, with potatoes, I think. Hakuna potato is hot right now. I'm going to bring back the fork. Okay, I should see if I could like embellish. We did make all these um, stripes of, of washi. What about the other ones that I have? And I, I sort of promised you guys that it would look fabulous. <laughs> Bet that I, I guess that I better try and embellish just some of this. See if I can uh, take it apart. Oh, that's, you know what? That's like, that's a pita. Oh, here we go. Gosh, I used to use potatoes a lot of years ago, Lena. <laughs> you did? It's like what people say that everything old is coming back as new. Oh, we are memory keepers need to invent this tool that can separate napkins and washi, right? This is going south. Okay. That would be cute right there. I am a horrible embellisher because I don't really know what to add, you know? You know what I mean? And yet I think I got so many random small things. Uh, what is this? Okay. Not, not any of that. Okay, I want to flip the page and see where we end. Okay, the line goes out here, so it has to come out here. And this is like nothing is going on here. So I think I should actually glue on some pattern paper just to get some sort of uh, something, something going on. Okay, so we got actually a whole fresh page. <laughs> I'm thinking about the, um, you know, we had that bicycle over here. We could actually have a bicycle riding potato on this one. It's just a shame that it's so high up. Didn't I have like a small ephemera piece with a bike on it? I have a bike. We 
we're here. <clears throat> okay, somehow I'm gonna draw a potato. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave the potato <laughs> subject behind, I promise. The last, last potato page, okay? And then I'm gonna mature up to <laughs> leave it behind. But I'm just gonna make a potato, a bike riding potato. Uh, I need to cover up these pages here. I like this uh, bright, flowery. <laughs> you read some attracted something Barbara hi Barbara <laughs> oh, I wish I read it before you uh, subtracted it okay I think that Didi would just like block out with white so let's see how it looks if I just uh, try and go over some of that text with something white. Oh, we could go like really painterly, like sky and um, oh yeah, yeah. Wait a second, we need we need a, a sun and a, some sky. How would I make a sun? Uh, um, Okay, I got this round thing right here. That could actually be my son. Yeah, I just need to paint it in yellow. Okay, I'm just gonna pre-paint a sun here that I can uh, collage on later. Oh. Making it dry upside down is not the best. I want to go in some light blue. So I need a lot of white for that. And then I'm just going to make these circular brush strokes, hoping that it will look in the end of something looks like a sky or something. Oh, we have a crown right there. I'm just going to... Maybe we can use that for something. <laughs> you never know. Okay, the sun is going to be up here in this corner, so I'm going to blue that up with some blue paint. That's cute, you know, with like a scenery. So maybe I should go for something green down here, like it's grass. And the illusion is complete about a meadow. And I'm going to pick an unusual green, something like this one here, instead of like a, a happy apple green or something. You know what? This is going to be so cute. Like if my son came home from school when he was little with this, it would be a masterpiece. But knowing that it's me, <laughs> so old, sitting here making it, it's like less a masterpiece. Oh, I'm going to try and fussy cut this bike because I don't want the enjoy to be right on top of the bike. But I could use the word enjoy, so I'm just going to glue that in. I would just use a potato as the circle and then french fries as the ray of the sun. <laughs> that would 
that is awesome awesome thinking okay now i have to think i want the bike right there so i need to fussy cut the wheels some more Okay, this is definitely where I want my bag, so I'm gonna glue it down. Oh, look, then I got this orange on. <laughs> making it worse baby wife oh i was lucky i could get it off as if as if it matters but maybe it did okay we need to uh, prolong that bicycle Okay, this is my plan. Listen to this. <laughs> Mrs. Potato is going to sit up here all fat and in her glory. And uh, because her legs are so short, we are having strings attached to french fries dragging her bike. Does that make sense? Like her legs are, are too short to reach the pedals. So she's going to be... Um, driven forward by uh, french fries i think i'm gonna make that page spread <laughs> i'm just gonna blast it with a heat gun because it's still uh you know damped <laughs> I think I even should give her a crown. But first, I'm going to make like an astonishingly big potato. Perfect. And then with this wet baby wipe, I'm removing the gouache inside the potato. So we can paint it with the half pan called the potato. We have to have the potato color in here. Okay, I'll work on that later. No, I'll get it, I'll get it down now. How about this? Okay, I'm going to let that uh, dry a little bit. And then I'm going to work on the poor french fries really bending their backs pulling her how would they walk there would be like a... okay <laughs> stick her up the legs how would they uh, what if he takes a step up for okay a leg right here right and then like this, like a running french fry. Oh, and look, this flowery thing here could be like part of the reins. Like a harness. Oh my god. They're wearing like a, a potato harness. And we need a bunch of these guys. Oh my god, I bet that Didi did not have in mind that the, this was going to happen to her beautiful little mini journal <laughs> when she shipped it off. Like totally in slavery.
think they need small arms also. Okay, that's the running french fries, and then they come in two. So now it's going to be really difficult to see what the hell is going on in this cup, in this drawing right here, because they run in pairs here. Okay, in my head it makes sense. Now let me color them in. And then here, we're going to have her feet, like, dangling in a, a high heel shoe. <laughs> oh, man, this is so good. Oh, it's going to be so messy because I'm drawing on that gelato that's so sticky. I need a tiny brush. I think we should have like a yellow crown. So we kind of know it's gold. I think that they should hold like, or oh, should we have like a a, a French flag to stress out that they're French fries, or is it too far out? It might be, but we can actually use this crown for something. Like like this is some sort of, a, like this is the gate for the castle, right? And then I need something. And then I think it's so cool that the building have this uh, logo on the on the wall. Now suddenly this uh, became the start of a building. Okay, it's not so good to, to have a sun right there, I think, now. But what if we have, like... What if I could erase some of that gouache? Okay, I think I need to uh, put some white on that royal castle. <laughs> okay where did the pencil the pencil line came out here so of course we're gonna attach it up here to this sign here saying enjoy and maybe to the spear of the potato going all the way here and then this connects to the house 
and then actually this line work could drop down on top you know it just continue on top of this page <laughs> i think it's funny oh i like this a lot uh yes the castle is one extra large potato chip bag <laughs> What should we have a name on it? Here in Denmark, the brand of potato chips is called Kips. Like, Kip. Like, um, but I don't think it's called like that out in the world. It's called uh, something crispy. Um, yeah, this is fun, Joan, but I don't think that I should stream about it. <laughs> you know, it's one of those I should have just made myself. <laughs> Okay, what is an international brand of potato chips out there in the world? Um, what the... I don't even have a suggestion. We don't have so many American brands in our stores when it comes to chips. We only got that Danish. Walkers is that one. Better made. Oh my god, that's so strange names. I've never seen them before. Pringles. Everybody knows Pringles. And Lays, of course. L A U S Lays. I should write like Lays down here. Okay, should it be in. Uh, I'm going to get a, a marker. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh my god. I think um I think I like this um, mini journal right here. I think I should end the stream because my throat is uh, its like I could just drink water, you know, <laughs> like really thirsty <laughs> from talking. Mm. But so far, so many pages just went without um, even, I don't even feel that they are finished, you know, like I could... Uh, embellish more on them so they would look nicer like some of the green washi here i like that the uh, green here it's so easy with this uh washi oh i said that too i spoke too soon because i forgot that i had to peel off the backing <laughs> I have to teach my pet to do this so she can earn something for a living. Oh my god, I'm I'm just gonna get stopping and glue it down with double sided tape. Can you feel that? Oh here we go. Oh. Sandwiches, something a little different. It says I'm gonna cover that up. You love it. Thank you for a great time. Thank you guys for showing up. It is uh, always uh, questionable what <laughs> this Friday stream is going to be about. This is a really thick book when I think about it, but I, I think I can manage to work my way through it. Now where I got some sort of a basic idea. And I think maybe that's what scares me a little bit when I unpack this in the mail and just looked at it like this I was thinking now what <laughs> but now it just kind of got a purpose 
So I also need to work with this uh, front cover where we got that line right here that we can do something fun with. So, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you back, Tori. It was so good that you guys came. So, um, yeah, it's a cute book. And what makes it cute is that uh, it came all the way from Dee Dee's desk. Isn't that awesome? So, of course, I'm going to work with it. Oh, did you guys see a hint of a broom? <laughs> guess, guess we know what, what that's going to be. It must have been like a Halloween edition. Okay. Okay, okay. But thanks for showing up. I think I'm going to end the stream now and go get at uh, two, four, six gallons of water or something. I'm super thirsty. <laughs> so uh, have a nice uh, week and see you soon. So bye-bye.